hello everyone in this video i'm gonna go over a relationship between normality and molarity and this relationship is very useful when we are solving uh, numerical problems so let's start with it so from the definition we know that normality is number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liters so that's a mathematical formula of normality and we're going to find the mathematical relationship between normality and molarity and this uh, numerator part over here is the gram equivalent of solute which is basically equal to mass of solute divided by the equivalent mass and equivalent mass is equal to molar mass divided by number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution so this is the case for acids and for bases it will be number of OH ions that molecule of a base can give uh, in solution so the, the the denominator part can be different for acid bases or we can say salt or oxidizing or reducing agent i'll go over those uh, later in this video so currently we can say normality is number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter where this equivalent a uh, gram equivalent of solute is basically equal to mass of solute divided by equivalent mass and equivalent mass is molar mass divided by number of hydrogen ions that molecule of an acid can give in a solution in case of acids next step is we're gonna plug in this gram equivalent value over here and we're gonna rewrite the normality then normality can be written as mass of a solute divided by the equivalent mass because when we plug in uh, this value over here in the numerator the normality becomes mass of a solute because this gram equivalent will be replaced by mass of a solute divided by equivalent mass and volume of a solution will stay in the denominator so that will be the normality now let's write down the equation for molarity and then we can see how it will relate to normality so molarity is uh, moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter so in normality and in molarity we have volume of solution in the denominator okay let's see what else we can do with the molarity and the moles of solute this numerator part of the molarity moles of solute is equal to mass of a solute divided by molar mass of solute so we can uh, plug in this moles of solute over here and can rewrite uh, the formula for molarity so in that case molarity will be equal to mass of a solute divided by molar mass of the solute because this part is replaced by this mass of a solute divided by molar mass of the solute but volume of solution stays same in the denominator now let's compare normality with the molarity we see we have mass of a solute on the top or in the numerator mass of a solute in the numerator volume of a solution in denominator volume of a solution in the denominator and here we have equivalent mass and here we have molar mass now let's say if i multiply molar mass of a solute here in the numerator and also in the denominator and we will get normality um, let me go to next slide okay so mass of a solute what i did i multiply the numerator by molar mass of a solute and i also divided it by molar mass of the solute because it does it will not affect the overall normality because basically molar mass of solute over molar mass of solute gives you one 
now look at the formula of molarity so we can see the formula of molarity in the normalities formula so mass of a solute divided by molar mass which is here and volume of a solution so those three terms gives us molarity so we can say normality is basically so this part mass of a solute which is here divided by molar mass of solute molar mass of solute divided by volume of solution in liter volume of solution in liter so we have a molarity over here so we can say normality is basically equal to molarity multiply by what what part is not there which is molar mass so we left with molar mass of solute divided by equivalent mass because that's the these are the only two terms equivalent mass so molarity times molar mass over equivalent mass is equal to normality so that is the relationship between normality and the molarity again you see mass of a solute we have mass of a solute this side molar mass of a solute we have molar mass of a solute and then volume of solution we have volume of solution so these three terms basically equal to molarity so we replace these three terms over here with molarity and we left with the molarity times molar mass over equivalent mass so that's the relationship between normality and molarity so for example if they ask you to solve uh, a problem gave you molarity mass of a solute and equivalent mass you can calculate normality from there now one more thing I'm gonna go over here so equivalent mass the formula of equivalent mass will be different for um, let's say acids bases they'll they'll be a minor um, change there I'm gonna go over that that part just give me a second so if we go to next slide so this is the relationship between normality and molarity and for acids we know equivalent mass is equal to molar mass divided by number of hydrogen ions that molecule of an acid can give in the solution which is basically basicity So if we plug in this equivalent mass over here, so normality will become molarity times molar mass of solute divided by molar mass of solute. And this denominator, because it is already in the denominator, it will go in the numerator. So it will become molarity times basicity because molar mass will cancel the molar mass. Let me rewrite it over here. So we have molar mass of solute and we're going to divide it by this equivalent mass which is basically molar mass of solute and divided by number of hydrogen ions that molecule of an acid can give in the solution so here this molar mass will cancel this molar mass term and this part in the denominator which is already in the denominator will go in the numerator which is basically basicity so normality becomes molarity times basicity so if you know the basicity or the number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution and you multiply it by molarity that will give you the normality of the solution okay now let's go to the basis for basis it is molarity time acidity because for basis uh, uh, the equivalent mass is equal to molar mass 
divided by number of OH negative ion that molecule of a base can give in a solution which is basically acidity and if we plug in um, this equivalent mass here in this case again molar mass over molar mass over number of uh, OH negative ions so molar mass will cancel out and number of OH negative ion which is acidity will go into the denominator so we left with molarity into acidity uh, for salts so normality is equal to molarity times total positive valency of metal atom because for salt equivalent mass is equal to molar mass divided by total positive valency of metal atoms and the last one will say oxidizing or reducing agent so in this case equivalent mass is equal to molar mass divided by number of electrons lost or gained by one molecule of that substance so again the molar mass in the denominator will cancel out with this molar mass and this the denominator part will move to the numerator so that will give me normality is equal to molarity times number of electrons lost or gained by one molecule of the substance so this is basically the relationship or we can say mathematical relationship between normality and molarity and this helps us to solve many numerical problems and very useful to remember this formula. I'll be making a video on a couple of uh, example problems on normality in my coming video. So please do share, subscribe and like my video to support my educational video channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.